Hello, this is the Viz Shogun Gamer, and we are back to another Let's Play Parasite Eve. Oh boy. So, we were recently dealing with guns, and just, uh, we, we decided not to really mod the equipment as much, um, or at least, you know, customize it in any way. I figured I'd leave that for later, because there's a point in the game where you, like, you know, you get a, at least maybe four guns or something like that, and maybe around like three or four body armors and like this ready you know that's our second one no our third actually but uh technically it's our second that we found and you'll be able to uh customize all of these at you know at this one point in the game where you get a lot of tool and all you know you can just do a lot of stuff basically let's just put it that way <sighs> unfortunately I'm gonna have a lot of uh, storage problems because I don't want to use my bonus points until I'm really decided as to where I should allocate those bonus points. Bonus points basically allow you to raise certain stats on a gun or even uh, raise your speed or your your inventory. And I'm not gonna do that for a, for a while, so I'm gonna be going with what I have, so I'll be removing some medicine probably. Because medicine is really easy to find on enemies, so... Eh. It's just good to keep some around for after battle, usually. I'm more of a, you know, oh yeah, keep extras just in case. Because then you could heal yourself after battle before going into a boss. But in this case, it's a little different. It's better to have uh, medicine just for battle. You can rely on healing because during the time you run around, your parasite energy recovers itself, but sometimes I'll f probably forget to do that. <laughs> Too used to Final Fantasy. Hey there, you lost? Uh... Ben! Daddy! So this is Ben. Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here! Tickets? Oh yeah, the concert. Sorry son, daddy's really busy today. I promise I'll make up for... Fine! Ben! Aww. Yep. Parental difficulties. Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Ooh, I, uh, nice choice of words. Screwed up now. <laughs> oh, what a way to, uh, mm. Okay, you met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has the time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Okay, let's see what Captain Baker wants. Poor Daniel. Being a single father, working cop business with a son. Pretty tough. Pretty tough. There's people who live that kind of life today. I even if it's not being a cop. Sir. That, that could possibly be like half of America almost. You were looking for me? Yes. We're, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there, too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as a sole survivor of that incident. I see... But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. <laughs> I wanted to give him a... I don't know, just some kind of voice. You know, just change it up a little, make it a little funnier. Um... So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about a cans of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? 
that was that was due to a rare highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did the tattooed bear survive without much of a minor burn? Oh god, that sounded horrible. That is a result of her quick thinking and her training as an officer. I'm asking her a question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Aya! Yo, mitochondria. Who said this? Oh god, now I'm using the same... Uh, Melissa, no. She said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? People, please. She is very tired, and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. I could have sworn that actually sounds like someone who does voice acting that way. Oh, God, but <laughs> that was pretty weird. Aya, uh, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. Bang! That is not the point. Who's going to believe a you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... The phone. Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Falcon. What? Meet? You'll have to speak up. Yes! What? Yes! All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mido something. Says he's coming over here. Mito. Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve had said. That it's time for mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go to talk to this researcher. Go! Better get there before the media. It may explain the phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. So, Japanese scientists, Mito somethings, and Captain Falcon. Yes! Had to throw that in, sorry. But anyway, let's save before we go to uh, the National Museum. And we'll find out what we have to do. Okay. Yes, let's override our data. Uh-huh. So that second data on the bottom is uh, just a test playthrough I did. Because as you can tell, uh, the, the graphics do look a little better. And that's because I decided to record in VCD. I found out uh, recording in WMV made it a little worse. So this fixes it. Um, the only thing is I have to widen the screen, so it's going to look a little wider than normal. But no worries. So let's continue, shall we? So, uh, anyway, let's take a look at what New York look like, uh, looks like in <laughs> um, Parasite Eve. It's pretty, uh, eh. well, there's Central Park to the left of the museum. Um, the layout's actually a little true, but eh, there's a few things that are off because of copyright, I think. We're going to the Museum of National History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. So I, yeah. Oh, Dr. Clamp, what's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he is working on a new theory. I forgot to do uh, his original voice, mitochondria or something, but it seems to cover up the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in the museum, 
We need to keep the voices consistent. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Ah, great. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. And we are going to be approaching the National Museum. Let's see how similar it actually looks to the real thing. Uh, it's a little close, but you know, that's a pretty bad image. Um, hmm. We'll take a look on the inside then, see how it compares. For those of you who have been in New York, you'd probably know. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what the security guards can, can do for us. Yep, let's go check that out. But anyway, as I said, you know, for those of you who live in New York or have been to New York and have seen the National Museum, I have, but I don't remember all of it. We could do a little comparison, you know? Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah. We just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. Place is pretty creepy without any people. Whoops. I think he said you'll find him upstairs or something. You could pause that to find out. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. He doesn't come out. Ever. Thanks. <coughs> I mean, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get something done early here, but it doesn't look like I can. Daniel's walking very slowly. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter. Thanks. Ah, fine. Oh, that was fast. Yep, that should be unless you want, don't want to leave or something like that. Darn. <laughs> uh, I hate it when the scene's automatic where uh, it moves on its own usually or something like that. So you gotta be sure not to press ETS too fast or you'll miss a few things. I think that happened in the earlier Let's Play. Either way, we're going to stop here. Sorry we couldn't do 15 minutes, just couldn't fit it in. You have a good day, and hopefully I'll be done with the next Let's Play in a day or two. Running around in circles, lol. Okay, that's good enough.